An East Tennessee man who rarely speaks is creating art that says plenty. Here's Erica Lunsford. With each line drawn. I paint with green and yellow, pink and white. Derek Freeman is conveying a message. For Derek is expressing himself through uh, communicating through his art. Angela Hunter, Derek's mother, says at the age of two he was nonverbal and diagnosed with autism. When Derek was um, three years old, um, one day he just started drawing and I was standing behind him and I noticed he just everything was just out of his head, um, not looking at picture books or anything like that to draw. He was just doing it, um, you know, just naturally on his own. And that's when I realized that he had a gift. And when he was drawing like 30 or 40 pictures, a day and I was realizing that that was his way of communicating with such a large collection of art. Derek has his own studio at the Emporium Center on Gay Street where he sells his artwork with his business called Eyes of Faith. You can see him searching for words that he's trying to he's trying to communicate or comprehend when you're asking him uh, questions and eyes of faith is just seeing seeing through God's eyes seeing through Derek's eyes the vision that God has given him all with the mission of giving back I do have a nonprofit that Derek is a part of and so his proceeds that he makes he gives a proceeds back to um, our place art so the other individuals can come and participate in art classes that we do allowing others with disabilities to share their gifts. Autism is not a curse. Autism is a gift because God created me. In Knoxville, Eric Lunsford, WVLT News. You can see Derek's artwork, maybe even meet him at the Emporium Center downtown. He will be there tonight.